Carbonara is a classic Italian dish, but according to a recent Barilla study, dietary restrictions may make it difficult for all to enjoy. So TV chef Alejandro Ramos joins us now with some twists on this classic recipe. It is so delicious. I love it. So I can't wait to see what you have for us. Thank you so much for joining us. So before we get into that, though, what more can you tell us about this delicious dish? Absolutely. Thanks so much, Jordan. Uh, look, carbonara, so delicious. It's a classic dish typically made with eggs and guanciale, which is delicious, but not something that everybody can enjoy. And Barilla really feels that food, and I do too, food is about bringing people together and we want as many people as possible to enjoy. So they created this fantastic recipe, calling it an open carbonara, which means that everybody can kind of join in. Uh, and it serves as that sort of base, right? It's that common denominator. Uh, and it's really swapped in some interesting traditional ingredients. They kind of delved back into sort of Italian culinary roots uh, to come up with some really surprising swaps uh, for the classics. So for this, we're using, for example, some potatoes, uh, mashed potatoes to kind of make that creamy sauce without dairy, without mm -hmm. egg, uh, which is such a cool genius tip that honestly you can use in all sorts of recipes. Uh, and then we're even using some saffron to give it a little bit of great flavor. And of course, the iconic uh, Barilla Blue Box gluten-free spaghetti, which is great for people who have gluten restrictions. Yeah, it seems like you've thought of, of it all, really. Now, really trying to hit all those points. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, it's all inclusive. I love it. So um, for someone who's making it for the first time, though, I will admit I'm, I'm Italian on my mom's side, so I have yes. made this. My grandma has an amazing recipe. But for someone who hasn't done it before, what advice do you have for them to make it seamless? <laughs> well, what I think is really beautiful is that I think the recipe is very easy to follow. Uh, so definitely take a look at it. Uh, but it's what's really great is that you know that you want to get those ingredients done first. So like make the mashed potato part of it first, make the crispy toppings first, and then you can kind of bring it all together. Whenever I'm making pasta, whether it's this open carbonara, the classic, or really any kind, I like to cook the pasta just about a minute less than the box recommends, and then finish it off with the sauce in the pan that's how you're going to really get that nice richness so the noodles almost like absorb all that beautiful flavor uh, and that's what it's just this beautiful cohesive dish also don't ever throw out that pasta water it is liquid gold and it's going to again help that sauce just become really rich and creamy without having to add any dairy or anything else to it okay good to know and we talked about the dietary restrictions are there yes. other things we can add or substitute other than what you mentioned or is this kind of like the Absolutely. ideal <laughs> recipe. <laughs> yeah, well, absolutely. What I really love about this, it, it just depends on what your friends and family needs, right? So yeah. when you're entertaining, get kind of a list of what you're cooking for, what, whether it's gluten, whether you have vegetarian friends or people who can't do dairy, and then that's going to let you know what it is you need to adjust. Uh, Barilla actually has a really great tool on our website that kind of lets you pick and choose depending on what it is, whether you're looking for that vegetarian or vegan um, or even just the classic version. Uh, and sometimes even it's just about ingredients, right? the classic carbonara uses guanciale, uh, but that can be a little bit tip harder to find. So you can use pancetta or even just regular uh, grocery store bacon. Oh yeah, I've definitely used the pancetta. It's a lot easier yeah. to find. And it's so, <laughs> Much easier. so tasty. Oh my goodness. Ugh. I will say I, flavor. I'm blessed and glad that I don't have any dietary restrictions, but I love that nowadays we find alternatives for people who can't have those things. So I think this is great. Uh, exactly. We're going to put more information on all of this. Well, head to Barilla.com. Like I said, they have some fantastic recipes. Definitely this brand new open carbonara recipe, the classic, and everything in between. So no matter who you're cooking for, uh, I think you'll be able to find something to please your family and friends. And even not having the dietary restriction, the way that you described that other version, the open carbonara, it sounds delicious. So I'm going to have to try that too. So I'll be checking that out. Thank you so much again. Thank for you. Us. Thanks so much, Jordan. I hope you enjoy. I will. Bon appetit. Well, I guess bon that's French, but... <laughs> And if you'd like to see this bon interview, appetit, <laughs> well, there you go. And if you'd like to see this interview again, just head to our website at friscosliving.net.